hello guys and welcome back to another video uh, in this video we'll be seeing about not about an application that I've created uh, not something which I've done previously but uh, something uh, I found it recently so it is about a uh, library that is called as uh, my algorithm so I'll just uh, get into it so uh, my algorithm so uh, I found it fascinating that how you can use Python to create such an easy uh, to build application. So when it comes to algorithms, uh, for those who are into data structures and algorithm or uh, those who are like uh, doing competitive programming, for them this, algo uh, this uh, library can be really beneficial. So when it comes to data structures and algorithms, usually people uh, use uh, the approach of like hard coding it from the scratch but with this uh, library you can just import the required uh, algorithm for example if you want to uh, implement a bubble sort or a heap sort for sorting technique or if you want to implement the uh, searching technique like a, a breadth first search or depth first search something like that so with this uh, uh, module you can quickly do it but I don't recommend it because uh, this is not the ethical way of starting uh, computer science uh, approach of programming like if you want to really uh, be into competitive programming and things like that you should really uh, do the hard coded way so for the purpose of learning this uh, module is really good so I'll just take you through uh, this module from uh, the basic to how you can use it for learning purpose. So this is the module my algorithms and for installation This is the approach. So pip install my algorithm Just uh, type it into the command prompt and you will get into it. So after the installation There are many algorithms within this module for example for sorting you can see this is documentation basically uh, for sorting this are the algorithms quick sort bucket sort counting sort heap sort etc and for searching like usual algorithms for searching binary search and dfs bfs then for string operations you have anagram um, palindrome pangram then uh, for fibonica series you have this for dynamic programming uh, you have snapsack problem and things like that so I'll just uh, show you some examples how you can basically use it uh, most of all it is given into the documentation itself so if you refer the documentation so for example if, if I go and search into like linear sort of binary search you'll get most of the methods how you can use it so I'll just provide this a documentation link in the description below so go check this out if you want things to know to be known in detail so i'll just link it below and this is the way you can install it via pip so let's come into the programming part so i've uh, done basic uh, algorithm that is for sorting searching and how you can use strings so for this it was not necessary but i just what it should be done so okay so for sorting this is, this is one of the example which I've taken like a bubble sort so basically you just need to like type in from pygorithm dot sorting so it is like a sub function in pygorithm dot sorting and import shell short bubble sort the uh, method you want to use for sorting an array so this is the array this is not the variable and if you want to implement cell short no problem dot sort and pass the uh, array list and print it out so I'll just show you the output and, uh, okay so save and run So as you can see it has been sorted you don't much know of, you don't get much of a difference 
and like if you want to use like bubble sort or a heap sort heap underscore sort save done now if you want to know the time complexity of this you can just start create another variable where to is equal to I'll just copy it from here you just have to change like heap sort time complexities and you need to print that out what So, for that particular heap sort, you get the best uh, possibilities for each and every case. For example, worst complexity, uh, worst average, and the best. So, it is a pretty handy when you learn something. So, now if you want to get the core of heap sort, just go into the terminal which was already open. Now, from here, you can just uh, copy this. Now you can use a help dot sorting to uh, to know how many alg algorithms are there for sorting. Sorting. Okay, uh, that was a mistake. I guess let me just check over here. So one of the method is over like uh, here for example I just uh, show you So this is how you can use like algorithm dot sorting I'll just uh, you just have to type it over here so one minute I'll just show you cancel this import sorting enter l l dot sorting so you will get the number of uh, algorithms uh, present in this for sorting purpose so you have a bubble sort, bucket sort, counting, heap, insertion, merge, quick, and etc. And uh, just cancel this out. So this was for sorting, and you can uh, get the time complexity of that specific sorting algorithm. Like for example, heap sort we uh, got earlier, the time complexity. I'll just show you again. So this is how you can get the best case possibilities for that particular algorithm so basically you can use this specific line to get um, time complexity of that particular algorithm and you just have to print it out that's it now coming into the searching so what is the basic approach same it is similar as sorting you just have to import algorithm dot searching so in searching there are multiple different algorithms for searching like binary search etc and before uh, searching searching a element within a list you just have to sort it so for that i've used uh, bubble sort so this is my list and this is the variable i've uh, selected for sorting out in printed that and I've just uh, for here also I've used time complexities for getting to know the time complexity of binary search and it will sort the list and uh, show you the index value so this is the code for it it's pretty much easy you don't have to think about the logical part how you are actually going to sort things right so save and so as you can see it sorted the elements so we have printed that over here and index value of the elements so for here we are passing two parameters the variable var list 
which is the list we have sorted and the element for so i want to search element for this element so after sorting uh, the value is been sorted inside this var1 right so the index value after it is 2 so 0 1 and 2 so the element was 4 and index value is 2 so it was correct and for that same binary search we get uh, the best average and worst case time complexities so it is that simple but this is just for learning purpose now i'll show you how you can get the code of certain algorithms so I'll just clear this out now for example uh, if you want uh, yeah. let's clear this out and for from our file called rhythms import dot sorting heap underscore sort okay now print heap underscore sort dot get code let's see it works or not okay so there might be some problems so i'll just uh, get over here quick so for getting a code you just need to like store it in the variable sorry I it was a mistake so from algorithms dot sorting import heap sort where one is equal to heap score sort dot get code okay so it not it is not coming out it is pretty rude right so we just copy it from here I guess it should work now okay so this is how you can get the code of the entire uh, algorithm so this is for bubble sort right okay so bubble sort you can get like this it will return a list and I'll, I'll, I'm not going into that for now. For example, if comma dot e underscore sort, let's see if we can get that or not. E. Yeah. So this is for heap sort. So you can get if you want to learn what is going into the background of that algorithm for searching is. For searching algorithms, the approach is the same. So you just have to um, type in of algorithm dot searching import. Uh, let let's just try. binary score search let's see whether it works or not yep it works so this is the entire operation of binary search so this is how you can get an entire function or code so Basically, this entire uh, module PyGorithms is uh, composed of many algorithms into a small package. So, for learning purpose, it is great, but for getting away with uh, 
like for if you want to like use this uh, module into computer programming it is not recommended so for learning purpose it is great and uh, yep that was it so this was about the module algorithms and all the links will be provided in the description below and uh, yep thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next